Alrighty, folks. I know I've had a lot of questions about my Jeep and what kind of parts I have on it and what brands. So I figured I'd do a uh, walk around. This is my 93 Jeep Wrangler. And I guess we'll start from the front of the Jeep. Up front I have two of these Avic LED cubes. I can't exactly remember the brand of these headlights, but they're a little bit different than most of these uh, honeycomb headlights. These actually have a uh, a black uh, backing in them. It's like a reflective black chrome. You can kind of see my gloves reflecting off of them there. That little light bar and these cubes both have tint over them. My camera doesn't want to focus, but you can kind of see my poor cuts of tint there. Light bar and KC lights are covered up because I do travel in Virginia a lot. And by law, anything above your headlights need to be covered. As you can see, I'm hoping I can squeeze by with this light bar here. I do have quick sway bar disconnects down below. The front axle is the stock Dana 30 open diff, unfortunately. But one of these days it'll be locked. Tires 33 inch Dana Pro MTs. They're pretty good tires. Not really the best in snow, but overall. In uh, wet conditions and stuff, they do pretty good. These fender flares are actually, uh, if I remember correctly, Rugged Ridge 4 and uh, 3 quarters inch. As you can see, my tires stick out. About 2.5 inches, if I had to guess. Here's the back of the Jeep. I recently got this hard top. And it was in pretty rough condition. The top of it was cracked up here, which most of it's patched up now. With some uh, fiberglass resin and everything. And up here is cracked and sanded all that down, smoothed it out. And the... Uh, Bedliner went right over it. And it's not too pretty, but you know, it's a Jeep. That's one thing I have negative to say about these flares is that any bit of flex will bust them. Just saying. There is my Flowmaster 44, or Flowmaster 40, I believe is what that is. It's starting to get dark. Uh, down below, I have a Ford 8.8 .8 rear end. Ah, I don't think it's going to pick up very well. A lot of people ask me what paint is on my Jeep, and it's actually a uh, Lexus color, Knott's Armor Pearl. It's seen some better days, though. I have all kinds of trail rash. Now, in my other videos, you guys probably noticed my soft top that I've had on this thing. And uh, you probably noticed it worked with four doors. Well, I actually have it in here. It's a soft top or frameless. And I have it off for the winter time here, but that's a really great top. But unfortunately, they have discontinued it 
for the YJ. I guess YJs aren't important anymore. This is a mower rod extreme terrain jerry can holder right here. This is a Rampage trail can. It's actually a storage can. Uh, this back bumper and tire carrier is actually a Smitty Built Classic. It's a pretty good bumper. One thing I have done to it is that I have uh, cut the actual tire holder part of it where your spare goes on to and got a plate of steel and cut the actual tire carrier part off, welded onto this plate of steel and actually welded the plate onto this tire carrier here and lowered the tire because the stock height blocks any rear view visibility from your mirror so that's one modification I've done to it that's uh, probably the weirdest location you'll see a CB antenna on a Jeep got my tennis ball to keep it from busting my hard top because when I installed this antenna it was actually with the soft top on and it's Kind of in the way, as you can see here. Open up the hard top. Luckily, the spring, you know, allows it to flex. Um, and you can get it out. But it's still a pain nonetheless. Tell-out guards. Can't remember where I got those from, but they are fairly cheap. Some cheap Nerf bars. Don't know where I got those from. Here's the uh, interior of my Jeep. As you can see, it's uh, it leaks like any other Jeep. CB. I actually removed my uh, radio to fit my CB. Two hundred and forty one original miles, two hundred and forty one thousand. X fifteen, all original, every gear is still there. Relocated my mirror. It's actually screwed into the bottom here. It always fell off, and you can see I got a little piece of carbon fiber wrap blocking that hole up. Soft top is connected by these quick release latches here you just squeeze it down and they pop right out push it down and there you go it tightens everything up works pretty good hard top can be quickly removed fraxing your shirt holder with these uh, thumb screw quick release nuts for the hard top Bluetooth sound bar it's supposed to be a marine grade waterproof and everything because I don't have a radio anymore I just Bluetooth it all my music from my phone phone holder dash cam which I recommend everyone installs in the Jeep got a couple uh, plug-ins here That jack is actually an O'Reilly special. I think AC Delco. And under the hood here. Now I'll show you my poison spider hood louver because a lot of people ask me what they look like and what you have to cut. And I can tell you right now it's not pretty underneath here. I'm probably going to have to set my phone down because this hood's fairly heavy with all this stuff on it.
and it's a mess under here too but you can see i didn't take my time cutting that out it still works yellow top battery my badlands winch which i have no complaints with i still have some nasty adhesive left on there i need to clean it a little bit better but hasn't let me down yet it's a little slow but it gets the job done 4.0 engine basically stock it's got an aftermarket header on it uh, it's painted white probably the wrong color but you can barely see it over there let's see if we can see that rear end a little bit better with this flasher on That is a, a drive shaft direct two piece double card and joint shaft. SYE. Which I highly recommend with a lifted Jeep. Mine's lifted. It was lifted about five inches with these shackles and everything, but the rear end sagged down with the 8.8. .8. As you can see, it doesn't sit as tall as it used to. Especially if you look in my other exhaust videos of my Jeep. Four way disc brakes with the 8.8. .8. Exhaust cut over the axle there. Let's see. I don't know if you can tell, but those hoses right there have been replaced. Highly recommend that everyone goes out and checks their. Uh, that's your filler and vent hose. And there's the original color of my Jeep there. Navajo turquoise, I believe. And you probably noticed my hood was white underneath. This Jeep's actually been rolled over. And I repainted it. It's got one battle scar right here on the grill. eBay headlock guards. I think I paid 14 bucks for those. You can notice that dimple a lot better with the hood closed. Just a reminder that this Jeep has been rolled over, you know. But yeah, this is a just a little walk around of my 93 Wrangler. Thanks for watching.